Okay, everybody. Uh, well, it won't matter to you. I mean, this is like the fourth video that I haven't even been able to post yet, and we're in between the rains and Indian land on Indian Trace. That's a tongue twister for you. And uh, you've got hundreds and hundreds of acres of washed down dirt. Now, granted, there's not artifacts on all of it. There's definitely not. Some people watch and they think, man, just the fields are covered like Easter eggs. It's not. I don't know what they were doing, the men and the women, but they were here for certain things. Now I'm walking down and I, I see, I saw, I'm going to show you the whole thing now, this, from this angle. You see specks sometimes. And so uh, it's turned out on the other side of it, it looked like a really great find. And again, sometimes the very best part about getting in the dirt is the energy that comes from, see there's rhyolite, there's just a ton of material, the energy that comes from the dirt. I suppose that's why some people love gardening. No true energy, right? Nothing metaphysical, it's the truth. Look at these uh, pieces that I've been able to collect and save. I've got some brokes, but these are great too. that base on the right. I always love collecting those bases. I never really seem to find the tops ever. It's sort of a tangerine quartz on the left right here. It's a great piece. And these, like I said, Marl Mountain is something you're going to find a Marl Mountain variety every time. So, the other, other thing I was thinking about here, kneeling in the dirt, is this. And that's a G10. Feel it. <sighs> crazy, right? How oh, crazy to me. Sort of a, a duty. I was talking to a artifact friend, and to me, it's a complete duty. I have no need to find. I'm overwhelmed, so I, I strike it down as a duty. I hope everybody finds out there. 